So I realized after this morning, because uh, a couple of you pointed it out, that I never went over how to use the dumbbells with y'all. Uh, just about every other group that's coming in this fall got the quick tutorial on how to do this, and it just kind of fell through the cracks with y'all because things were so rushed. Um, also, this morning when I heard that loud bang, I just thought that an adder weight fell out of a dumbbell. I didn't realize anyone was hurt, so Kinley, I'm sorry if I seemed like I was being rude. I know I called and apologized to you, but I want everybody to know that um, I didn't realize anyone was hurt. And uh, and how can I expect y'all to know how to do stuff if I don't teach you how to do it? So that's on me. I take responsibility for that. I'm very sorry that happened to you. Uh, but now, let's, uh, I wanted to actually go over with y'all how these things work. So. The empty handle is five pounds. <clears throat> we call this a bullet. It's two and a half. So that's seven and a half pounds. That's 10 pounds. After you put the weights in there, you have to close it. Otherwise accidents like this morning happen. So this is 10 pounds. If I take the adder weights out, the bullet's out. And I add the black uh, uh, additional weight. That is now 15 pounds. If I had one bullet in there, it would be 17 and a half. If I had both bullets in there, it would be 20. There is no 12 and a half. There is no 22 and a half, 32 and a half, 42 and a half, et cetera. Uh, it's, just a, it's just a gap in the dumbbells in the design. Uh, so sometimes you will have to go up by, by five pounds instead of two and a half. What else? I think that's pretty much it. If you have one of these on here, it doesn't really have to be closed, but they will shift in the handle if they're not closed. If you have adder weight, if you have the bullets in here. Um, so just a good policy, just always close it. When you disassemble your dumbbell to clean it, make sure you take the bullets out, take this added piece out, but put it back on the rack before you do all of that. Don't hold it here and take this out. That's another accident. I think that is it. If y'all have any other questions, let me know if doing more videos like this would make things helpful. If y'all want one on the belts, if y'all want one on anything, let me know. I'd be happy to do it.